Hi everyone, I'm Hector. Thank you for joining us today for what will be the final video of the Design Your LA River Workshop, brought to you by the Legion Valley Arts Collective. If you haven't seen the last video in our series, where we explored challenging your concepts, click here. In each video, we covered the basic design tools and resources you'll need to successfully submit to the Lewis McAdams 18-year-old and younger prize. In the first workshop, we covered what it meant to hear and gather. In the second workshop, we worked on how to begin to develop your ideas into initial concepts. In the third workshop, we worked through challenging your concepts. And in this final workshop, we'll look at how to tell a story and present your idea for a public art installation along the LA River. This week, the workshop will cover the following. Review challenge three, what it means to tell a story, telling your story, and lastly, challenge four. So let's review challenge three from last class. Last class, I asked you to write a one to two sentence narrative of your idea. As you wrote this narrative, you probably found that writing a short summary of your idea can be more difficult than it appears. It's okay if you struggled with this. I mean, after all, you did spend many hours sketching, thinking, and researching. It can be difficult to wrap it up into a few words. When I feel stuck, I oftentimes try to think back to the original thought I had about an idea. That first impression is often where the essence or the spirit of the project is. Think back to the matrix exercise you did in second class. What drew you to the idea? For me, the idea stemmed from the birds out in the tremendous river, basking in the sun. There lies the essence of the idea, the irony of a relaxed rest among a wild and turbulent river. The challenge of forming a narrative around your project is crucial in helping you understand the story you are trying to tell. This leads us to our next segment. What does it mean to tell a story? A story has to have parts to it, right? A beginning, a middle, and an end. A story also implies that there is an audience to tell it to, someone who is listening. So seeking to connect to the audience is only a natural part of telling a story. Take this very short story from Ernest Hemingway, for example, that he wrote on a bet to write a short, sad story, and he won. For sale, baby shoes, never worn. In only six words, Hemingway is able to convey to you, the audience, three very powerful facts. Taking a spin from that gloomy story, by shifting our perspective ever so slightly, we can understand the story in a completely new light. Maybe it was a sales girl who needs to sell a pair of shoes to meet her sales numbers, or a nanny trying to console a crying baby, taking the baby for shopping and finds the sign. Stories, and what they choose to say or not say, are open to interpretation by the audience. The audience brings with them their own emotions, understanding, and experiences that can completely change the meaning of a story or art piece. Just like Jane Eckelman chose to allow you to interpret and give meaning to her piece in your own way. You as the artist have to make the decision on how to guide people to understand your art piece's story. The way you present your art, the clues you leave, like the narrative, all adds to how people will interpret and connect to your art piece. So, you have a story to tell. Now what do you do? For me, presenting my idea can feel like a daunting task. However, like your narrative, if you keep your essence of your idea in mind, it can help you make the process easier and more fun. At the age of 21, Maya Lin, an undergraduate student, won the design competition for the Vietnam mm -hmm. Memorial in Washington, D.C., out of almost 1,500 submissions. Much criticism arose out of her winning the design, including comments on her lack of experience. Her intention was to create an opening or a wound in the earth to symbolize the pain caused by the war and its many casualties. I imagined taking a knife and cutting into the earth, opening it up, and with the passage of time, the initial violence and pain would heal, she recalled. Her idea was simple. Express the pain caused by the war like a knife cutting into the earth. This is how she presented it. She did this by telling her story through the board and simple drawings. She begins by showing you a strong, iconic image at the top looking at the proposed memorial from far away, followed by a written narrative of her idea. Mind you, written by hand, not typed. She then changes the scale and shows you 
the type that will be used for the soldier's name. She follows by bringing it all together and showing us the names on the memorial as if you were down in the trenches. Lastly, she shows us what it's like leaving the memorial, looking up towards the sky, towards the Washington Monument in this case, looking for the light and for hope. She was able to convey all of this using four simple drawings. Now, your submission doesn't have to be just a drawing. If you feel like it's easier for you to convey your ideas by recording a short movie, you can do that as well. What you are trying to convey, again, is the essence of your idea. It can even be as simple as one drawing, a technique that architect Frank Gehry often uses to explore the ideas behind his buildings. Can you guess which building inspired this sketch? If you guessed the Disney Concert Hall in downtown LA, then you guessed right. Frank Gehry was chosen out of 40 other architects to design the Disney Concert Hall because according to the Disney Concert Hall website, Gary may very well be the only architect whose imagination has so much in common with Walt Disney's. His work offers a sense of wonder and delight with serious undertones, similar to Disney's movies. Although this was a much larger competition, the idea is the same. All it takes is a spark for an idea to take hold. If you get stuck, you can always Google search architecture competition boards or competition boards to help inspire you um, or even help give you a guide uh, for setting up and laying out your, your design. This brings us to the last and final challenge. Now that you have your idea, a narrative, and a way to present it, for this challenge I want you to submit your idea to the Lewis McAdams Prize. The deadline is Monday, July 20th by midnight. You'll need to submit one file up to 10 megabytes. You can submit either PDF, JPEG, movie, or website link. You must also include a project description, your narrative, which can be a maximum of 250 words. Also. Do not include your name on the submittal file. I look forward to seeing all of your work and I hope that you enjoyed and learned a few things from this video series. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. Thank you for being a part of this class and I hope to see you winning entry in the future. Thanks again to the Legion Valley Arts Collective for generously sponsoring this series. These were wonderful to work on. Until next time everybody.